Hi there. My name is Patel, and I'm ten years old. I live in a bustling town with my mom, dad, and my little sister Priya. Every day is a new adventure for me, full of exciting things to see and do. Let me tell you about one of my typical days. It all starts when the sun peeks through my window, and my alarm clock rings at seven a.m. sharp. I stretch out my arms and legs, feeling the warmth of the morning sun on my face. Another day, another adventure. I say to myself, hopping out of bed. I quickly get dressed in my favorite blue T-shirt and jeans, ready for whatever the day might bring. The smell of freshly made parathas fills the air as I rush downstairs to the kitchen. My mom is at the stove, flipping the parathas with a skill that only comes from years of practice. Good morning, Patel. She says with a smile. Breakfast is almost ready. I sit at the table, my stomach rumbling in anticipation. Priya is already there, munching on a piece of toast. Morning, Patel. She says with her mouth full. I laugh, and reach for the jar of mango chutney. My favorite topping for parathas. After breakfast, it's time to get ready for school. I grab my backpack, double check that I have all my books and supplies, and head out the door. My dad is already outside, waiting by the car, ready to go, champ. He asks, ruffling my hair. I nod. And we hop in the car for the short drive to school. School is always an adventure. My best friends Rahul and Aisha are waiting for me by the school gate. We have so much fun together, whether it's playing soccer during recess or working on science projects in class. Today we're excited. Because it's our turn to present our project on volcanoes. We spent weeks building a model volcano that actually erupts, and we can't wait to show it to the class. As we walk into the classroom, our teacher, Mister Sharma, greets us with a big smile. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all ready for a day of learning and fun. We all nod enthusiastically, and take our seats. The day flies by in a blur of lessons, recess games, and our exciting volcano presentation. Before I know it, the final bell rings, signaling the end of the school day. I say goodbye to my friends and head outside to meet my dad for the ride home. Back at home, there's always something fun to do. Sometimes I help my mom with the gardening, planting flowers and vegetables in our small backyard. Other times, I play board games with Priya or read my favorite comic books. Today, I decide to practice my drawing skills. I love to draw, especially superheroes and dinosaurs. As the sun sets, we all gather around the dinner table for a delicious meal. We share stories about our day and laugh at each other's jokes. After dinner, I finish my homework and get ready for bed. As I lie in bed, I think about all the adventures I had today, and all the ones that await me tomorrow. The sun is shining brightly when I wake up the next morning, and I can already tell it's going to be a great day. Today is Saturday, which means no school. I jump out of bed and quickly get dressed, eager to start the day. Good morning, Patel. My mom calls from the kitchen. We're going to the market today. Do you want to come along? The market is one of my favorite places to visit. It's always so lively 
with people selling all kinds of interesting things. I rushed downstairs and joined my mom and Priya for breakfast. Today we're having idlis with coconut chutney. I love the soft, fluffy idlis and the spicy chutney. After breakfast, we grab our reusable shopping bags and head out the door. The market is just a short walk from our house, and as we get closer, I can hear the sounds of people chatting and vendors calling out their prices. The market is a colorful maze of stalls, each one packed with fruits, vegetables, spices, and all sorts of other goodies. The smell of fresh produce and aromatic spices fills the air, making my mouth water. Priya skips ahead, her eyes wide with excitement as she takes in all the sights and sounds. Our first stop is the fruit stand. My mom picks out some ripe mangoes, bananas, and apples while Priya and I sample a few grapes. These are delicious, Priya exclaims, her cheeks bulging with grapes. Next, we visit the vegetable stalls. I help my mom pick out some fresh tomatoes, cucumbers, and green beans. The vendor smiles at me and says, You're a great helper, young man. I feel proud and grin back at him. As we continue through the market, we come across a stall selling colorful bangles and earrings. Priya is immediately drawn to the shiny jewelry. Can we get some, mom, she asks, her eyes sparkling. My mom laughs and agrees to buy her a pair of pink bangles. I spot a stall with toys and run over to check it out. There are toy cars, action figures, and even a few kites. I pick up a small red car and show it to my mom. Can I get this, please? She nods and adds the car to our shopping bag. With our bags now full of delicious food and a few fun treats, we make our way to the spice stall. The vendor greets us warmly and shows us all the different spices he has. My mom selects some turmeric, cumin, and coriander, explaining to me how each spice is used in cooking. Cooking is like an art, Patel, she says. Each spice adds its own unique flavor to the dish. I nod, fascinated by all the different colors and smells. We finish our shopping and start walking back home. On the way, we pass by the sweet shop. The smell of freshly made jillibus is too tempting to resist. My mom buys a small box of the sugary treats and we each enjoy one on the way back. Back home, we unpack our bags and put everything away. I can't wait to play with my new toy car, but first, I help my mom in the kitchen. She teaches me how to make a simple salad with the fresh vegetables we bought. I wash the tomatoes and cucumbers, then chop them up carefully. It's fun to help out, and the salad tastes even better knowing I helped make it. After lunch, I spend the afternoon playing with Priya and my new toy car. We build a racetrack out of cardboard and race our cars around it. Priya's car wins most of the races, but we both have a great time. As evening falls, we gather in the living room for a family movie night. We watch one of our favorite animated films, laughing and enjoying the time together. After the movie, it's time for bed. I brush my teeth and crawl under the covers, thinking about all the fun we had at the market today. <laughs>